Um, second question. Do you believe in pillow talk? Like, what kind of information do you keep from your significant other? So, do you believe in pillow talk? Like, that's the thing? Y'all pillow talking? Telling people your business? I think it... I wouldn't necessarily say telling people's business, but you talk about your business and that involves other people or, or not. But I believe you do share things with your uh, significant other. Um, I don't think that they should know absolutely everything about you because some things you should keep to yourself. Mm-hmm. But um, they should know a great deal about you and what you have going on. And I believe you do most of that in as pillow talk. For the reference that we're using it as, um, I think it's a, it can be a good, healthy thing in a healthy relationship. Yeah, so, uh-huh. I mean, I don't. I don't be done. Fall asleep mid. <laughs> <laughs> but like whatever is probably relayed back to me, I'm gonna forget anyway. So, pillow talk away if you feel the need to. But I just. Yeah. Do you that talk to something your, important, huh? Do you talk to your significant other at all? Do y'all have a conversation? That one? Just yeah. in general. Just in yeah. general. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> in general. Do you do you have a, a communication with your significant other? I try not to. <laughs> the one that I'm talking to now, I'm I don't have a signi- a solid significant other. Is this, have, it's a general. A, a like when you do have one. Oh, so yeah. Roster. <laughs> <laughs> say because it's not like I have a certain things that I keep it's just certain things that it's not necessary for them to know and it's not like it's anything bad or good or indifferent it's just right. that I need to keep some of my stuff personal now is that based on the topic or how they would react or is it just I just think this particular thing I should keep to myself yeah I just think this particular and this particular thing to myself but it also depends on the person because you have different relationships with different partners. Like, Work. you have some people, some of my past partners that were uh, not over analytic. They didn't try to connect stuff that didn't need to be connected. You could be lively and fun with them. So, I could talk more stuff right, with them right. because it's everything is in a stressor. Yeah. So, all of that plays a part, too. So, um, yeah, so it depends on the partner and it depends on what it, what it is. Yeah. And it's, it's nothing per se bad or whatnot. It's just what I feel comfortable or what I want to share and what right. I don't want to share. I think that's the perfect uh, significant other that you could just laugh and joke with and you could be like, yo, so this is trying to talk to me and they not, they not like wild out. Yeah. Um, like I know a guy, there's certain things that I would not say to him because I know he don't want to go and fight somebody. Mm-hmm. Like crazy dude that was watching me Mm-hmm. Mm. Couldn't say, couldn't dare, like nothing reference him at all. He mm-hmm. mm-hmm. about to go knock on his door. Right. Like, I'm cracking out. Mm-mm. That's toxic. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you say it's toxic? That's toxic. I had somebody stop talking to me until we graduated high school, yeah. and I've never really, even really talked to him much. Like we weren't, we were just classmates. But, right, ooh, Jesus. Did my ex, I had told him something, and he went up to him while he was on the field at um at the school because it was like prep for like field day, mm-hmm. and he slammed him on the ground. Yeah. And I was like, ah! and he stopped okay. talking to me. The whole time. But now they hang out and they just friends. So I was like, look at God, see look how that turns this around. They got you out of the picture. I'm oh, I'm still in. He's messing with you. <laughs>